will fly at this location. Who will come out on top? I just had uh, two orders and I was holding them. And I opened the door and this uh, was like maybe 40, like middle-aged woman was walking. And I held the door open with one of my arms. I must look like a feeble, like weak, like SpongeBob character because she had grabbed the door as if my arm was gonna fall off from holding the door. And I was like, hold the door open for her. I wanted her to go on the other side so I could hold the door. Oh, this just fucking broke. What a piece of shit. I held the door open so she could go around me and I was holding the door open for her and she like acted as if my arm was going to fall off if I held the door any longer. And I was like, lady, I could break this fucking door with one arm. Why do you, like, what is up with people and like seeing things and like making very poor assu assumptions, and, like judgmental decisions. Like I was holding the door open for a middle-aged woman. She treated me as if me as if like my arm was gonna fall if I held it any longer. Lady, how are you gonna get yourself a fucking man if you can't even understand when somebody's holding the fucking door open for you? You're not turning this on to me like, oh, how are you gonna? No, fucking people need to pull their fucking heads out of their asses. That's what you need to do. Somebody like me holds the door open for you. Thank you. Go around. The door's being held for you. Don't like think that like. I don't know. I don't know what people fucking think. 
I don't have a hat on. Maybe I need a hat. I need a hat? Do I look stronger now? Does that make me look fucking stronger? <sighs> like, holy fuck. Society irritates me. Too many fucking times. Too many little fucking stupid, dumb fucking things. This is why I don't put my hard work in the hands of poor female fucking judgment. Because it's everywhere. It is everywhere. The conversation I had with that girl in the elevator... You know, it was like a mutual thing. She didn't like look at me like some like feeble fucking weak SpongeBob fucking character that's gonna get blown away in the goddamn wind. Like, will you let go of that stupid pizza already? I can't. It's for the customer. Who cares about the customer? I do. Well, I don't. Oh, <gasps> Squidward. Is that what I look like? Not really sure. Not really yet. Ran over fucking... I don't know. That shit kind of just irritates me. It's like people assume that I'm like not a strong individual. I don't like go around like busting doors open like breaking things and shit. But like... I don't know. I'm like skinny. Does that mean like weak? Like I'm pretty skinny. I'm very fucking strong. I guess. I just am way stronger than I look. I just need to accept it and not be surprised when people I guess treat me that way. Um, maybe that's what the people from that company saw. They just saw me as like this weak, feeble like person because I was like quiet and didn't talk to them. Like, do I have to break somebody's face to show like why do you have to break somebody's face or break like something to show people that you can't? Like I don't understand. Maybe I should do fucking MMA. Maybe if I look as weak as I am, I'm really fucking just uh, I'm a, you know, I'm a fucking unicorn. I, I look like a, a feeble, weak SpongeBob character, but I'm really fucking, you know, like sh fucking Zangief from Street Fighter. You know, that's my, uh, what the fuck is the word? Something that doesn't look like the way it is. There's a word for it, and I can't think of it right now. An anomaly. Anomaly. Something like that. I'm an anomaly. Loving hearts with Iams Large Breed. Pick up your bag in store. Took a break from doing deliveries. I don't know how much I made today. I made like over 150, maybe like between 150 and 200. Bought some more of those Delta 8 gummies because they're worth it. Pretty strong. You get three of them for 10 bucks. While I was getting my car down, I was waiting in line at 7 Eleven. And I think it was a couple. It was like an older couple. They were a little bit bigger. They walked past me in line um, while I was getting my card, and I kind of had like some anxiety uh, while I was getting my card, and they started chuckling at me. Um, so this is what I did. I just started laughing pretty hard, just like they laughed, and I started flexing my back, and they fucking just got real quiet. Yeah. If people, <laughs> if you want to test waters, fucking ready to test waters, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh man, when my adrenaline kicks, I would not want to be on my bad side when my adrenaline kicks. Let's put it that way. Uh, never, the only time I got in a real fight, I got pretty much jumped and sent to the hospital, but it's going to take a lot. I like uh, animal that you have to shoot with a tranquilizer gun at least like a couple times to put it down. That's, that's kind of how I am when my adrenaline kicks, so be my guest. Está bien, muy bien, con un chalo ahí por la banda. 